Journalists inquired from the General Secretary of the United National Party, Akhila Viraj Karevasam, regarding disciplinary action he instituted against two non-cabinet ministers of the party. The journalists posed these questions following an event held in Colombo today. A lot of people are my good friends, but I have to take decisions as the party secretary. There have been queries regarding certain statements and situations. We will handle both the leader and the deputy leader. Please do not create any issues. If all of us are properly fulfilling our duties, we will do so as politicians. It is your responsibility as media institutions to work independently and to not be partisan. We all must move forward together. We cannot allow a split to occur. Media companies do not name the candidate. We will work when the time is right. As the General Secretary of the party, I must say, we can only work according to our agenda. We will not name candidates based on some other agenda. Minister Akila Viraj Karyavasam seems to be acting hesitantly and irately in front of the media as of late. Is it because the minister is enraged at the media? We would like to know the true reason behind the minister's behaviour. As you might have seen from the previous news item, Minister Karyavasam states that the media should not be the judge of whether they are fulfilling their duties or not. By them, I meant the politicians of this country or the responsible people of this country. He has also stated that various media institutions have distorted the truth while expressing their own opinions. Is it so? However, why is the minister so hesitant all of a sudden? The exposés and revelations we make are not based on the activities conducted by the minister or any other public official, for that matter, through money which comes out from their own pocket. The revelations we made were regarding a large-scale malfeasance which was about to occur at the Ministry of Education. And that is the scam that was about to be carried out under the guise of providing tabs to school children. Is it not through the public funds or the taxpayers' money that the people of this country that these tabs are being bought? Therefore, as the fourth pillar of democracy, is it not our responsibility as the media to point out these misdealings to the nation? However, we will not stop reporting on these matters. It should also be pointed out that our intention was not to oppose this move of tabs being distributed to school children. It certainly should be done as it is a lucrative initiative. However, we questioned the method or procedure as it seems to be doubtful and dubious. The Cabinet Memorandum which we brought to your attention yesterday includes similar details that we brought to your attention on previous occasions. Our first doubt was as to what sort of educational purpose would be fulfilled through providing these tabs. Now, according to this cabinet memorandum, the learning content or the syllabi recommended by the National Institute of Education or the NIE must be purchased from the open market. Where can the content recommended by the NIE be found? Although they are attempting to purchase these tabs, they do not seem to have even a rough idea of what they would be utilized for. And that is one fact of many. The other fact is that the Ministry of Education chose the most expensive bidder in the process of buying these tabs, attempting to pay a gargantuous sum of 7.2 billion rupees. 
However, luckily this was struck down by the Procurement Appeal Board, stating it was wrongful to choose the most expensive bidder. And there were many other revelations we made yesterday regarding this matter. Moreover, the initial decision was to distribute the tabs for a period of five years and that is a perfectly justifiable decision because tabs are such as things such as tabs are technological equipment would, which would become defunct over a period of five years. However, later it was decided to provide tabs for just two years which means they will have to purchase new tabs every two years. Is this not a waste? Is this not the political bodies of the country squandering millions and billions of hard-earned money of the taxpayers of our nation? Are there no pressing matters in the education sector that requires funding? Should this be on the top of the priority list of the Ministry of Education? We report, you decide. The following was the response of Minister Ajit P. Pereira regarding the letter sent by Minister Akila Viraj Kariyawasam inquiring details about disciplinary action. Because our group, including Ajit Pereira and Sujiva Sen singer, spoke of Sajit Premadasa, they send us letters in order to frighten us. They will not frighten us. When we were never afraid of the Rajapaksas, can these letters frighten us? If the death threats never frighten us, will these letters even matter? If the death threats received during the 52-day political turmoil never frightened us, will these letters frighten us? No, we are not afraid. Now, there are many figures in our party who claim they are suitable to be a presidential candidate. So, in that case, such individuals should also be questioned in this regard. I believe this is illogical. Therefore, the party chairman and the secretary should discuss and solve these matters prior to sending out these letters. This is all I have to say. Vijaydas Rajapaksa, who was accused of protecting perpetrators, was removed from the party in October. He later joined the other side. So where is the disciplinary inquiry against Vijaydas Rajapaksa? Where is the disciplinary inquiry against Putlam District MP Upali Priyanta? The central bank bond scam that disgraced the party. There is one person who we all know was involved in the scam. What about a disciplinary inquiry against him? The Prime Minister and the entire Cabinet is benefiting today as a result of our struggles. When I raised my voice then, no one spoke against it. I would like to point out very clearly, I am not afraid and I do not owe anything to anyone. Is this an attempt to lure us to join the opposition? Does this party include members who oppose Sajid Premadasa becoming the next President of this country? <laughs> Apa itu hundai? Apa sajut jenah di peti orang tak kemati naya kelakian ayam ini paksi inno ada. 